What is the tantric approach to spirituality? Well, generally speaking, in ancient India, there were two groups of people. The first was the group of people interested in enjoying worldly things, pleasure, wealth, etc. And the second group of people were people who were dissatisfied with the world and were looking to lead a spiritual life, meaning a life of renunciation, probably in a monastery or in the Himalayas. Now, the spiritual practices of India, like Buddhism and Vedanta and all of that, prioritize this group of ascetic, monastic kind of transcendentalist practitioner. Um, um, and that meant that there was a whole group of people who were left out, the people who were in the middle, the people who both wanted to enjoy the world and also wanted to participate in spiritual life. So the tantric innovation was to include these people, to tell them, yes, you may continue to uh, accumulate wealth and pleasure, you may continue to taste things and engage with life, but don't forget to also integrate your spirituality somewhere into that. I mean, it's not either or, it's yes and. Eventually, the group of people who wanted the world would ultimately renounce. We have classes on 